Yo, so I did the math. Coming up on 10,000 plays, streams, downloads, on demand, 10,000 with zero advertising. Now, I talked about this last night, man. I was a bit inebriated. I'm 100% fucking sober right now. Just like a stone cold soldier, private military company type shit. 100 fucking percent sober. So, did the math. I'm one Sir Grove. Easy mathematics. Fucking basic elementary school type shit, man. Grade school, grammar school. A, B, C, one, two, three type shit. So, um, <clears throat> 10,000 plays, streams, downloads, on demand. This podcast is already worldwide and I haven't spent one fucking penny thus far to advertise, market this podcast. By the way, this is C4CW, casting 495 celebrities worldwide. Yeah. And if you have been with us for for damn near 1,000 motherfucking episodes, there have actually already been, because I was thinking about doing the like 1,000th episode anniversary type shit in, you know, 12 months, one year, whatever. You can see how steadfastly I put this shit together with 495. Like I said, by the way, if you are true fans, real to life fans, and you are not not fans, if you are not not fans, then I, we, 495, most certainly appreciate you. I, I try to switch it up each and every time, and I've said that before, but I had to think about the, uh, I had to think about the rules of grammar there. Um, yeah, if you're not, not a fan, um... I know it's a double negative, and I say that as a joke. It's it's in jest. I, I'm just joshing, but I'm fucking serious at the same time because I can't make you a fucking goddamn fan. You are either a fucking fan or you are not a fan. Simple math. So, in that, doing the math, 10,000 plays, download streams, on demand, with not one fucking penny spent on advertising. Now, a lot of people talk about doing a podcast. They're just not fucking serious. That's why they don't do podcasts. That's why they've never done one. They just keep talking about it. And it's just never materialized. It's never come to fruition. I don't know why they fucking lie to people, man, and say they're going to do some podcast shit and they never fucking do. I'm just simply saying, man, a lot of people, they're like, I'm going to do a podcast about this. I'm going to do a podcast about that. I'm going to do a podcast about this. I'm going to do a podcast about that. And they never do. And it's been fucking years. Well, you see how easily I've done the shit. You see how I, you know why? Because I'm not afraid to express myself, man. People overthink shit. They overanalyze and they overthink shit. They're afraid to think for themselves. And the other thing is, they think that the shit has to be perfect. Oh, when I go and do my podcast, I'm going to have to chop it up in this way. And I'm going to have to edit it and mix it down like this. And I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to get rid of all the ums and the, you know, mm, I said this and I said, um, and I like smacked my like, you know, like, like, and there was some plus of like, you know, like peas, bees, and messes, and I was talking to my brain. I don't fucking care. So I just do my shit organically, man. I just say whatever the fuck is on my mind. I don't really edit the show. Sometimes I go back in, man, and I'll listen to this, this, and I'll chop it up a little bit with the little tool that I have. For the most part, 97.5% of this show is organic and it's unfucking cut raw shit. All right. And I just say whatever's on my fucking mind. And if there's a typo or some shit, whatever, man, I don't even fucking care because it's all about content. It's all about volume of content, and it's all about getting those ads woven into into the mix, and that's what I have. I have advertisements on nearly 1,000 episodes of this podcast, C4CW, casting 495 celebrities worldwide, and you can see how fucking consistent I've been. That's right, because I'm a workhorse, man. Yeah, it's true. I'm a workaholic. I work... I work every shift of the day, meditate about 15 minutes or five or 10, and then I'm back at it again because, man, I'm on a fucking mission for 495 in my city, just like Bone Thugs and Harmony said in that song of theirs from back in the day, yo. Um, He's like, I'm on a mission for my city. Huh. Well, yeah, that's fucking ultra dope, and so am I. 
I've been inspired by the likes of Bone Thugs and Harmony, among many others. Um, but yeah, it's true, man. I'm on a I'm on a mission for my city. I'm from the E V T. I'm from the uh I'm from E Town. I'm from Eville. I'm from the E. And that is a hundred percent correct, accurate, and true to life. So, so out here in the east, man, in hyperspace, floating, dipping, soaring like an eagle, man. Yeah, out here to get that bag for the network, for the organization. And man, we've put our minds together, man. And we have our thinking caps on. We strategize geopolitically. And when I did the numbers, man, it's very, it's very crystal clear. Already did, already did coming up on 10,000 uh, plays, downloads, on demand, 10 fucking K. With not a single penny spent. So that means if I pay, when I pay to advertise to market the show, 10,000 turns into 100,000, turns into a fucking million in like one week or less. And a thousand times a thousand is a fucking million. So yeah, some people thought, you know, there's some people, man, they're, um, you know, they're just uh, assholes, man. They're just fucking stupid fucking assholes. And and I know, I know as someone who's um someone who's proactive and productive and constructive, and I use my time constructively and productively. I already know, man, from the vibes that some motherfuckers broadcast and give off and put out. When you tell them you're about to do some shit, they're like, Yeah, well, I'm going to try to think you... I'm going to try to think you out of it and talk you out of it. I don't think you're going to be successful with what you're trying to do. And I'm like, I already did it, motherfucker. You just don't know that yet. You see, man? You see? Huh. I'm just going through the motions, man. We're, we already fucking did it. 